Hey YouTube, it's Middle School 420 here, and this is my video response to Making Master Classes video 3,000 subs giveaway contest. Um, I still have the video pulled up because I, I just got done watching it. In fact, I just got home from work and found his video two minutes after he uploaded it and watched it, liked what he had to say, and decided to make a video response. And basically, he wanted to know how I plan on improving my skills in 2013. Well, first of all, I plan on getting a better job so I can make more money, so I can buy more ammo, so I can go to the range more often. I don't go shooting. I would love to go shooting basically any day, anytime I have the day off, but ammo is expensive. Therefore, that's a little hard for me when I make like. 50 cents an hour, just kidding, but I like to uh, take some IDPA classes. I never have, but I know they do host them here in North Alabama. I'd like to do that to learn that way. Um, whether I go to an actual shooting range or just out to uh, a friend of mine's got 13 acres of property that is just open, so we go out there and shoot. Um, and every time I go shooting, though I do like to shoot just for fun, um, I'm always setting up different scenarios to try and improve my skills, whether it be um, shooting from the hip. In fact, I have a video on my camera right now that I also plan on uploading of me working on my accuracy shooting from the hip. And again, I know that sounds crazy, but I'd like to know that I am accurate with all my firearms shooting from the hip, from the shoulder, left-handed, right-handed, prone, kneeling, standing, um, moving, um, cold weather, hot weather, raining, whatever. No matter the scenario, I'd like to know that I am proficient with my firearms in any situation, whether it be a zombie apocalypse or a shit hits the fan scenario, um, or just an animal attack, say. Like I walk out in my backyard and there's 30 coyotes standing around. I'd like to know that I can start just dropping them. Um, I plan on shooting with other people that I've never shot with before to learn what they know. Uh, I can teach them what I know. Um, shoot their firearms, whether it be guns I've never shot before or guns that I have shot before but just don't have access to all the time. I like to know, again, whatever the situation or whatever the firearm, I can be proficient with it. Um, I am 21. In fact, I do have my Morgan County concealed carry permit that I always have. Just to prove that I am over 21. Uh, I'm actually 23. I'm turning 24 next month. Um, I also carry my Smith & Wesson MMP40 anywhere I go. Yes, it is loaded. Criticize me all you want, but even right now, if this weapon was unloaded to make it safe, I feel like that's non-effective because right now some bad guys could kick down my back door and try and rob me or shoot me or whatever. And I'd like to know if that was to happen, even right now, I can engage. Is it likely to happen? No. Is it possible? Yes. Now, and again, this is a full size, not the competition. It's not the compact model, nothing, but it's standard full size, 15 plus one. And I know some people may say, oh, we well, gotta have something smaller and more easy to conceal. This, on my side, with my shirt over it, it's concealed. You can't see it. Um, plus, having full size allows me to carry 15 plus one, and I like that. Uh, 40 caliber, and yeah. So um, this is my video response, and good luck to everybody else. And thanks for watching. And remember, the rights of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed.